Hey everyone, this is Bremster and this is the next problem in my Sudoku problem series. This one was submitted by Florian Wertman and thank you Florian for sending this one through. This is a thermo problem, so thermo problem number two. Um, the rules for thermos are pretty simple. Digits on the thermos must strictly increase from the bulb to the tip. Um, strictly increase means that they must never decrease and they can't stay the same. So they must always step upwards along the thermo, but they don't have to only step up by one they could jump um, to a, a higher number. Um, so they could go, you know, one, three, seven on a three length thermo, that's fine. Um, so yeah, that's the rules. Um, there'll be a link to the problem below where you can give this one a try. Um, I'll be back in a couple of seconds if you want to pause the video to explain how this one works. Okay, there's a couple of ways of looking at this one, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pencil mark these thermos because that's the way I think about it and that's the way I found it. Now, I don't think Florian sent through a guide on the best way to solve this one, but this is what I found. So if the way I pencil mark a thermo is basically, I will start at the tip and say, what's the maximum digit you can put into a cell? This can be a nine, this can be an eight, this can be a seven, this can be a six, this can be a five, this can be a four. So this can only be one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, and six, seven, eight, nine. And I can do the same here, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. So one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight, and six, seven, eight, nine. And you could look at this for a bit and start thinking about what is going on and how is this going to work. And it might be at First, a little bit daunting. I know it took me a bit to find this one. The question you want to ask yourself is where does this cell go in box five? And you can kind of do this without pencil marking, but it, it's the way that I found it. So it's the way I'm explaining it. This cell cannot go on its own thermo because the digits further along a thermo must be higher. It cannot go in the same column because then you'd be breaking the rules of Sudoku. So this cell which can only be from one, two, three, four, can't be these because these can't be from one, two, three, or four. So that cell is exactly the same as that cell. They are must be the same cell. So now you want to ask, where does this cell go in box five? Well, it can't go higher up its own thermo for the same reason already explained. Along its own thermo, the next digit must be higher, can't re repeat digits, and it can't be in its own column. So it has to be one of those two. But those two cells don't share a digit. So that and that must be the same digit because we already know those are the same. So these must be the same. And the only possible way of repeating a digit in those two cells is to make those a five, which immediately makes this six, seven, eight, and nine. This being a five immediately makes this four, three, two, and one. This has a six, seven, and eight in it. So this can't be a six, seven, or eight. This must be a nine and that completes a problem. There was no X in that cell down the bottom. That is how this one is completable by looking at where these two cells had to go in box five. Very cool little problem. Um, took me a while when I first did this one. I think it took me about six minutes to, to spot that. Um, I could be wrong. I don't remember. I first saw this one a couple of weeks ago. Thank you, Florian, for sending that one through. Hopefully you found that one um, quite educational. I know um, I love problems like this. Um, hope you're enjoying the series. And as always, good luck with your solving. 